1 Kings chapter 5, And Hiram king of Tyre sent his servants to Solomon, for he had heard that they had anointed him king in the room of his father. For Hiram was ever a lover of David, and Solomon sent to Hiram, saying, You know that David my father could not build a house to the name of the Lord his God for the wars which were about him on every side, until the Lord put them under the soles of his feet. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side, so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrent. And behold, I purpose to build a house to the name of the Lord my God, as the Lord spoke to David my father, saying, Your son, whom I will set upon your throne in whom, in your room, he shall build a house to my name. Now therefore command you that they hew me cedar trees out of Lebanon, and my servants shall be with your servants, and to you will I give hire for your servants according to all that you shall appoint. For you know that there is not among us any that can skill to hew timber like to the Sidonians. And it came to pass when Hiram heard the words of Solomon that he rejoiced greatly and said, Blessed be the Lord this day, which has given to David a wise son over this great people. And Hiram sent to Solomon, saying, I have considered the things which you sent to me, for and I will do all you desire concerning timber of cedar and concerning timber of fir. My servants shall bring them down from Lebanon to the sea, and I will convey them by sea in floats to the place that you shall appoint me and will cause them to be discharged there, and you shall receive them, and you shall accomplish my desire in giving food for my household. So Hiram gave Solomon cedar trees and fir trees according to all his desire, and Solomon gave Hiram 20,000 measures of wheat for food to his household, and 20 measures of pure oil. Thus gave Solomon to Hiram by, year by year, and the Lord gave Solomon wisdom as he promised him. And there was peace between Hiram and Solomon. And they too made a league together. And King Solomon raised a levy out of all Israel. And the Levi was 30,000 men. And the levy was 30,000 men. And he set them to Lebanon 10,000 a month by courses. A month they were in Lebanon and two months at home. And Adoranam was over the levy, and Solomon had threescore and ten thousand that bore burdens, and fourscore thousand hewers in the mountains, beside the chief of Solomon's officers, which were over the work, three thousand and three hundred, which ruled over the people that wrought in the work. And the king commanded, and they brought great stones, costly stones, and huge stones to lay the foundation of the house. And Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders did hew them and these stone squares, so they prepared timber and stones to build the house.